Welcome all once again for my YouTube channel. Today we are going to unbox Eureka Note 6000 and give a review on camera performance and issues with it. So this is a package received from the Snapdeal. Packing was quite good. The smartphone is priced at Rs. 7999. The Snapdeal has started with something like express uh, delivery as of within a day and unboxing the key theme you can see in this package. I have received this sub package and this is something uh, a sticker and uh, this is a Eureka Note 6000. You can see it. On the side you have some received uh, importer's details with a cost. Back side you have a specification of the phone. The cost mentioned on the box is uh, 14999. It has 64 bit octa core A53 processor which is clocked at 1.5 GHz. It has a 6 inches full HD display with uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It has 16 GB ROM and 3 GB RAM, 13 megapixel rear cam and 8 megapixel front cam. Uh, it has a connectivity of Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi, GPS, micro USB with OTG support and GLONASS. It supports GSM, WCDMA, LTE and 4G LTE bands. It has fingerprint sensor, gyroscope, light and proximity sensors. It has 4000 mAh powerful battery with quick charging facilities and dual mic with dual speakers. top you get the phone itself so this is a phone so this is how the front side of the phone and the back side of the phone looks so this is a huge six inches display so let's go through the box so we have a pouch in which we have a sim ejector tool with some documentation we have a quick start guide warranty card and a SAR value which has been given inside this so the SAR rating has been given 0.24 watt per gram on head and 0.47 gram per body. So this is a protection screen protector. So next you have a charger. The charger has been rated with uh, 5 volts 2 amperes. It supports quick charging but this is not a quick charger. So you have a, a USB cable uh, from USB to micro USB which is used for charging and data syncing. This is a earphone which has been here. I'll go through with the earphone later. Let's go through with the phone. It has a 6 inches full HD, a Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It has proximity sensor on the top, call loudspeaker and 8 megapixel front shooter. It has a LED notification on the bottom and a calling mic. On right hand side you have volume rocker buttons and a power on button. Bottom you have a micro USB port. Left hand side you have a SIM card tray which supports micro SIM and uh, Nano SIM. On top you have 3.5mm audio jack. Rear you have a noise cancellation mic, 13 megapixel shooter, dual tone LED flash and a fingerprint sensor. On bottom you have dual speakers. It has a plastic rubberized finish. Let me go to uh, see the backside panel of it. It has non-removable battery. It has plastic made. It is not that great finish which has which we can see in other phones. Let us power on the phone now. Let us make a setup and just turn back. It is running on a Android 5.1 Lollipop and it has a little bit of customized UI from UI. This is how home screens look like on your first boot. This is somewhat uh, similar to the Silogen uh, transitions where I have seen some of the Silogen models. So I did not find any lag on the UI. UI is very responsive. Let me reduce some brightness. Uh, so uh, let's go through the uh, about phone. So, what are the specifications in the about phone? So, here is the about phone. You can see the model number, just UYU6000, Android version of 5.1. Android security patch has been given on the third one. And uh, you have a kernel version of 3.10 and why you will stop. Let's go through the free RAM space available for the user. So, here, uh, you can see a lot of applications are running on the first boot itself. So the free RAM space available for the user is 2.3 GB which is very good out of 3 GB you have 2.3 GB of free space and uh, for the user space ROM space is around like 10.4 GB, 7 GB out of uh, 16 GB of ROM. Now let's check the camera how it performs. This is how camera UI looks like. 
also these are uh, features of the camera and these are features of the video which we have you have uh, zero time intervals etc etc in the video whereas in uh, camera you have anti-shake uh, smile shutter face detection features etc you can uh, use the white balance uh, some of the uh, features which are available on android itself the video quality we get here is uh, maximum is 1080p uh, we don't have slow motion capture the feature of other camera is here quick mode that is both the cameras will be on and you have a live mode and you have a motion tracking mode also which are the features of this phone the autofocus of this camera is not that great the motion tracking works ok but not great again uh, camera performs slightly bad when compared to others by uh, mobiles in this segment the image quality in indoor and artificial light is very poor color reproduction is good but detail capturing is ok when compared to other mobiles these are some of the images which have taken in some of the lighting conditions the camera performs slightly bad in the indoor uh, uh, natural light as well as artificial light you can see the noise uh, in the low light conditions in indoor especially uh, so but color reproduction and detail capturing is very good in outdoor it performs really good in especially ambient line conditions so images are like quite over saturated when it is focus adaptive focus has been used or it has been more exposed when it is uh, focused uh, manually we get natural color reproduction as well as the detail capturing is good in natural light outdoor conditions so it performs good in outdoor but in indoor really it is bad uh, even the both front as well as the rear camera are bad in indoor with any lighting conditions so front we have 8 megapixel fixed focus camera so these are some of the images taken from the front cam so images have a good detail capturing as well as the color reproduction but not in the low light or in the indoor conditions especially this is a free HD video which has been captured using the device so we are hanging right now using adaptive focus and an auto focus mode so later on we will get the motion tracking mode also motion tracking makes the video a little bit shaky not that great even the autofocus is not that great when compared to other mobiles in this device segment images appear to be grainy and with very much of noise in the indoor condition it does not support uh, slow motion video capture which is available in most of the mobiles today the dual speaker of this mobile phone is really loud it has a good clarity of sound in this phone. The new phone is good, but not great. Uh, still, but uh, it is useful for a calling purpose or a uh, light song listening purpose. The battery backup is uh, really good. It lasts for one day and above moderate usage. It has very good RAM management. This phone is priced at the segment of uh, Eco 2 and Lenovo uh, K5 Note. But when compared to camera, so, uh, they outstand in the performance of the camera. I did not find any heating issues while charging and upper moderate usage also. It is the best at the range of 8000. If you like this video, kindly give thumbs up and subscribe for my channel.